Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do my top 10 MAC lipsticks and um, I'm going to do this because it's really heavily requested on my channel um, I think since my makeup collection people wanted to see what my lipsticks were and also I really rate MAC for their lipsticks basically like I never used to be into lipsticks at all like when I first started doing videos on YouTube I just thought lipstick was for like old ladies and stuff like I wasn't interested and it's just like I've changed so much now I'm really into lipstick. I do have more, I didn't do lipstick collection so I thought that might be like a really really long video and I'm not sure if it'll be as helpful so I'm going to show you my favourite lipsticks from MAC, some of them I think aren't worth talking about, they're not all amazing but yeah. So these are my top ones, uh, the ones that I use most and that you would have seen me wear in my videos before and stuff like that. And also what I'm going to do is try and show some dupes, lipsticks that you can find in Boots or you can find, you know, in the drugstore <laughs> that are cheaper that are similar. So I'm going to kind of go from light to dark if that makes sense. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is Velvet Teddy. This is actually my newest one but I love it and I can, I, I know that I'm going to love it forever. It's just, it is the best nude for my complexion, for my skin tone. Um, it looks like this. It actually looks quite dark to be a nude, but it really does work for my skin tone, again. And I had been eyeing this for at least a year or so, like six months. Um, but I have to thank Estee from Essie Button because when I was, I was watching her talk about it and she loved it and I was like, right, I have to get it and like try it out. And I love it. It's very um, subtle, but it kind of gives just a really perfect look to the lips. It is a matte finish, so that means there's no shine, no gloss to it, it's just matte. And a dupe for Velvet Teddy, which I think is a dupe, is Mauve It Over <laughs> by Revlon. Yeah, it looks like this. And I'll just hold them up together so you can see. So you can see Mauve It Over is a little bit pinker, but they actually are really similar on the lips. Okay, Brave is my all-time favourite lipstick, but um, that is, it is being rivalled by Kinda Sexy and Velvet Teddy at the moment. But the look Brave gives is like another Your Lips Put Better colour, um, for my skin tone, um, again anyway. And it's kind of like slightly pink, a mauve colour, so it looks like this. Um, and I love it so much. This is Satin Finish, which is kind of like a semi-matte, it's got a little bit of a, not a shine, but just like, it satin <laughs> kind of look I don't know I'm really bad at explaining but um it's just it's not drying um but then it lasts for a long time as well so I thought I'd include a more kind of peachy orangey lipstick out of all of them because a lot of them are quite nudey pinky so I thought as for something different if you'd like to see what orange one I like um I like ravishing this is a cream sheen finish and it looks like this. Cream sheen meaning it is a lot more conditioning, moisturising on the lips. Um, it's very soft, um, it doesn't last forever, you probably have to keep uh, re reapply it every now and then because it is cream sheen. This does have a little bit of a sheen to it because of the cream sheen finish but it's nothing too obnoxious or anything. It's, I think it's a bit less crazy than like Costa Chic and um, the dupe that I found that is kind of similar to it is um, Smoked Peach from Revlon which is a matte shade um, so that's how they look side by side but it gives kind of a similar finish so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper. Um, I love Plink, this is a it's like a it's like a natural pink shade um, it's a luster finish which is quite it has quite a shine to it um, sorry this one's quite run out but it has quite a shine to it and oh it's such a nice pink on the lips I think this would suit quite a lot of different skin tones because it's quite sheer um, I first saw this on Tanya from Pixie Twoo and I thought I'd go out and try it and I really really liked it and she's a bit lighter than me and, and even on my skin tone it's gorgeous it's just such an easy lipstick to like pick up and go and it doesn't clash with my skin tone too much because which I find some pinks do um, it just gives a really nice kind of glossy finish but quite sheer um, so if you don't like your pinks too bright again you'll like this with this one this is the only one I think I have from MAC which I feel like you don't even need a lip gloss over it because it kind of gives that glossy finish already so that's handy because it's almost like two in one I don't hear a lot about it on YouTube but Plink is gorgeous it's kind of sexy I love this lipstick so much. Um, this is also a new one. This is what Kinda Sexy looks like. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. Um, so, it looks like that up close. It looks quite dark, but then actually when you put it on the lips, it 
transfer is quite light and nude looking. It's actually quite a peachy shade. It's like a pinky peachy nude. It's very kind of different. I don't have to worry about it going on um, wrong. Matte uh, lipsticks have a tendency to be quite drying on the lips. This isn't drying at all on me. I actually find it quite creamy, like quite almost moisturising. I don't think, I think this, the formula for kind of sexy um, as a matte is a little bit different. I find it might just be mine, but I find it quite nice on the lips. It doesn't dry them out or anything. So I really, really recommend Kind of Sexy. Then we have Please Me, which um, is my go-to bright pink lip. This one works quite well with my skin tone. And this is matte as well. So uh, I have quite a few matte ones actually. Um, I find this, um, it goes on, it does look quite matte when it's on the lips, more so than I think Kind of Sexy does. It's long lasting. Um, the colour is gorgeous, um, but I, I think it's quite a flattering, brighter pink. I think the dupes for this that I found are definitely this, which isn't actually a, another lipstick. It's a NYX so Soft Matte Lip Cream, which you know I keep going on about these, but um, it looks like that. It swatches like that, and that's kind of similar to how Please Me does look on the lips, like that kind of shade. It's in Istanbul, I didn't even say. Um, another dupe, which I think is kind of similar, but this is almost a dupe as a cross between um, Please Me and Snob is um, Pink Pal, another another matte lipstick from uh, Revlon. Um, I just think the Revlon lipsticks are actually really good. I don't know why I didn't include them in my best and worst drugstore makeup video, uh, but it looks like that. So that's how it looks. It looks like that side by side. So you can see that um, Pink Pal is actually a little bit more purple toned, but they're not too, too different on the lips. Again with the pinks, because I do quite like my pinks. Um, Creme Cut, this is very like talked about. When I actually first got it, um, I didn't wear it a lot. I thought it, it's okay, it didn't, you know, it wasn't amazing. But then I just really got into it. This and Pink Pout, I really got into them at the same time. So maybe Pink Pout is almost kind of similar to this, but I think it's it's a bit more purple toned. Um, it looks like this up close. It's very moisturizing. It is a cream sheen finish. The shade of this is gorgeous. It's just, there's a fine line with me between like being too light for my skin tone and just right. And it's, I feel like if this was a little bit lighter, I wouldn't like it. It's just kind of the lightest I'll go pink wise. I love Creme Cup. It's just very flattering and it will look good on a lot of different people. Plumful, I've chosen as one of my favourite kind of more plum toned lipstick. Um, it's quite sheer. It looks almost quite scary when you look at it in the tube. That's what it looks like. But it's really sheer, seriously. Um, this is one that I love in spring, summertime, any kind of year, really. Kind of year? Any time of year, really. It's not too, too pigmented, so it's not doesn't come on too strong, like a pervy man. <laughs> and it's quite a different shade. I haven't... I don't have a dupe for this because I haven't found something that's quite similar. But you guys tell me, actually, if you, if you know of dupes for the ones I don't have dupes to. It is a lustre finish, so... So I think Lustre and Cream Sheen, are, Cream Sheen are quite similar. I find Lustres are quite sheer. And yeah. Okay, my favorite red ever is Russian Red. I love it. Uh, Russian Red is a matte shade, so it's a matte red. It's kind of just the perfect red shade. I love it. Really long lasting, it lasts for ages. It looks so nice on my skin tone. I think it would look nice on a lot of all different skin tones as well. A dupe, Rimmel's Red Fever, which looks like this is quite a dupe. It's quite a similar colour um, and it's quite long lasting as well but the only thing about this is I found it a little bit drying. And the darkest lipstick I have from MAC is, or that I wear from MAC, is Dark Side. I got this in like winter time, like last year. I love it and I wanted a red lip that was even darker than Russian Red. It looks like this. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's such a nice kind of vampy, almost gothic uh, lip colour and I've worn this in I think some of my older videos also but it is an amplified finish which means it is very pigmented which it is. It has a tiny bit of gloss to it, gloss finish to it more than a matte lipstick does. It has very good staying power, it stays on for quite a while. Um, yeah, even when I eat and stuff like that it's still on and it's just such a nice colour, such a nice finish as well. A dupe for this, I actually got this lipstick first before I got Dark Side. Um, this is beguiled or beguiled from MAC, uh, MAC? <laughs> from Topshop. They look like that side by side. 
So they are, they look really similar. They are really similar, but the only thing is that the Topshop one gave a bit of... The finish I didn't like, it was a little bit too glossy, and I wasn't really into the dark, glossy lip. I felt like it would look a bit odd. That is it. Before I go, I did want to just give two honourable mentions, kind of, because it was really hard to choose ten. I know it sounds like a lot, but it was hard to choose ten, and there's two others that I do really, really like. Um, Shy Girl, which is very popular here on YouTube, and it's like a... It's just... My tube's disgusting. I don't know what happened to it, but it's a, a peachy nude, and it is a cream sheen finish, so it's very moisturising on the lips, and it's just... The most gorgeous finish, but because mine got really melted and stuff once, I don't reach for it a lot because it feels like it's going to fall off. But um, Shy Girl is gorgeous, and I think the nearest dupe I have for this is Spotlight Beige from Rimmel, which I've heard is being discontinued, so that kind of sucks, but it looks like that. Um, and sorry if this is being discontinued, but that's the um, closest one I could find to it. And then also, what I really, really like is Cream in Your Coffee. Um, which looks like this, and this is another kind of your lips but better colour, your lips but a bit darker kind of colour. Um, it's a really nice shade, um, it's just not one I reach for all the time anymore, but at one point I was, I was obsessed with it. It's a cre another cream sheen finish. So yeah, they're just the two things I wanted to throw in because I really do like those ones as well. So I really hope you found this video helpful at all, and yeah, I just hope it helps. Sorry if you're not interested in MAC, just uh, it was very, very highly requested. So that is about it. The lighting's changing and going crappy and it's raining today, so I should probably just go. <laughs> um, I'll put everything in the down bar of what I'm wearing and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.